Hello, I'm Mary Troop, a volunteer facilitator with SCAN's C4C initiative, and I would like to share a summary of my climate action story with you. From an early age, growing up in Fife on the east coast of Scotland, I have enjoyed spending time outdoors, exploring new places, appreciating wildlife, and gardening to produce fresh fruit and vegetables, as well as flowers loved by butterflies and bees. I still have happy memories of summers spent on the beautiful island of Iona, and this was when my love for and appreciation of the natural environment in all its moods was born. My emotional connection to our planet has been long lasting and remains ever present. As a young adult and parent, I became involved with environmental groups such as the World Wildlife Fund and the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds and supported campaigns for the preservation of natural wildlife habitats and species threatened by extinction, including the osprey and the corncrake in Scotland. More recently, through my work as a storyteller and musician, I have recognised the power of music and stories, fuelled by conversations, to give young people a voice, enabling them to communicate powerful messages about their future to spread the word of change that is needed to preserve life on our planet and to help to develop the critical mass of people required to tackle the climate emergency and to work for climate justice. In early summer 2021, as we began to emerge from the severe restrictions imposed during the COVID-19 pandemic, I was one of many preparing for COP26 which was being held in Glasgow in November 2021. This period proved to be a turning point for me. Personally, I initially felt a sense of helplessness and overwhelming insignificance, thinking, how can I possibly help to make a positive impact? I wanted to act, but how? I began to look for opportunities to engage more fully in climate justice work based on current knowledge, information and research. In October 2021, I enrolled to train to become a climate reality leader in the Worldwide Climate Reality Project founded by Al Gore. The training highlighted the urgency to act now, but importantly too, it emphasised that there are real solutions emerging. On completion of the training, I began to look for opportunities to work with other groups in Scotland, a search which led me to discover SCAN and Scotland's growing Climate Cafe network. I applied for membership of SCAN in January 2022, attracted initially by the Storytelling Collective, the opportunities offered to share work in progress and to participate in training workshops. Searching further, I discovered SCAN's Conversations for Change initiative, and immediately applied to become a facilitator, recognising the potential to work with community groups to unlock the energy needed to achieve positive change. Since completing the training nine months ago, I have facilitated eight conversations with four more scheduled to take place shortly. All have been with established organisations and I have found that through conversation, participants move from sadness despair, isolation, anger and hopelessness to recognition of their power to act together and determination to work for change. Further opportunities have emerged for me to co-found two climate cafes, to become a mentor for trainee facilitators with the C4C programme and for emerging climate activists in Glasgow City Council's Women for Climate programme. I'm also working closely with children in a local primary school to prepare a music storytelling performance telling the story of Wangari Matai's Trees of Peace to be presented at the Scottish Parliament in September 2023 as part of Quakers in Britain Peace at the Heart exhibition. I am motivated to undertake further reading and research and I'm looking forward to supporting others to hold climate conversations and to join us in the climate cafes and in SCAN to act together to lobby our elected representatives in our parliaments and local councils, urging them 
to take meaningful action to fulfil promises made in relation to tackling the climate emergency. In this way, we will be empowered to generate the momentum required to trigger the vital tipping point that will lead to real change in the quest for climate justice. I look forward to playing my part in this and I urge you to do so too.